So this Shan question is past AQA question um, <clears throat> from a previous year. We're going to tackle this um, together now. So without further ado, then this bank reconciliation question. So we're going to have to reconcile the bank statement. So we've got bank statement here, bank statement extract with the cash book, which we're given up here. So remember that the process is to tick the bank statement to the cash book, to update the cash book, and that's going to be with anything that is on our bank statement that isn't in the cash book um, at the moment. Um, we are going to so tick update, balance the cash book. And then we're going to prepare a bank reconciliation statement, which is going to be made up of unpresented checks and outstanding bankings that are going to be the unticked items in our cash book. Okay, so tick is the first thing we need to do. Start with the opening balance, 1910. Let's tick that off. Okay, now let's just work through the bank statement. Now we've got a check here, number 123. We've got a check number 123 up there. But if you look at the amounts, we've got 220 there, and we've got 202 pounds there. So we need to find out whose mistake this is. Is it the bank's error, or is it our error? Is the cash book wrong? Is the bank statement wrong? And if we have a look here on the additional information, Zishan has contacted the bank regarding check number 123, for £202. The bank manager had acknowledged the bank's mistake and apologised. So that should be £202. So the bank has effectively overcharged us um, by £18. So when we do our bank reconciliation statement, we're going to need to deduct that from our cash book balance um, just to make it reconciled. But remember, we're not going to change the cash book I'm not going to update that with the £18 because it's the bank's error, it's not ours. Right, so if we carry on with the ticking then, we've got some rent received on the 16th of April, 6500 That is not in the cash book. So if you have a look on the debit side of the cash book, the receipts, because remember the bank statement is the opposite way around, we haven't got a receipt for 6500 so we can't tick that off. Check number 126, hey Evans there, 655, that's on the bank statement. And it's in the um, cash book, so we can tick that off. But the gas board direct debit 2123 um, isn't in our cash book, so we will need to enter that in the cash book. And it'll be the same with this check that's been returned. So on the credit side, we've had a check um, that's been returned. So that's on the payment side. That'd be one that came, um, well, actually, that'd be one that's been paid out, wouldn't it? 110 pounds, um, and it's been bounced. Because of the overdraft. So it's been paid back into our account. So we're going to have to debit the cash book with that one. £110. So, first thing, oh, we need to um, also have a look. It says on, on the 30th of April, Zishan found a check in the till received in the previous week from Douglas Limited for £450 that had been completely omitted from the books. It had not been banked, okay? So we're going to need to debit the cash book with that one because it's a receipt that was received in the previous week from Douglas Limited and we will um, obviously be crediting the Douglas Limited account. We're also going to need to include that as an outstanding banking because it won't so it's going to need to go on the bank reconciliation statement as well as an outstanding banking because it hasn't yet cleared the bank statement obviously because it's sat in Zishan's till. Right, so let's have a look at what we're required to do. It says, make the necessary um, entries to update, update Zishan's cash book, bring down the updated balance of the 1st of May 2016. Dates are not required. So you can see there they've already put the £32 in, which is the closing balance, um, the open balance on the 1st of May. So we're just updating the cash book with anything that's on the um, bank statement with an asterisk by it, so something that we haven't. Um, put in yet. So 16th of April we received some rent, so it's on the credit side of the bank statement, it needs to go in on the debit side of the cash book, so £6,500 there. And let's tick that off when we do it, so that's that's done and dusted. The gas board direct debit is a payment on the 22nd of April, so gas board direct debit needs to go in on the credit side of the cash book, um, 2123 is the amount. That's a payment, so let's tick that off now that we've um, dealt with that one. And then the £110 
um, <coughs> check that's been bounced, the returned check is going to come back in on the data side. So this is one that Zishan has bounced. Um, and we can tell that because it's on the credit side of the um, bank statement. So originally it would have been paid out on the debit side, but obviously Zishan hasn't got enough in his bank account to cover that, so it's bounced. So we need to put that back in, £110 on the debit side, and tick that off. And then, I've, sorry, I've forgotten this check at the bottom, number 660, that is actually in the cash book, so we can tick that one off um, as well. Okay. The other thing we need to enter in was this point number two. So the 13th of April, the check from Douglas Limited needs to go in there. Let's put that in. No wonder Zishan's been overdrawn if he's just got banks um, checks just sat in his till unbanked. £450 is going to go in there. But we must remember to include that um, as an outstanding banking. So let me just put that in. We'll do that in pink. So any outstanding banking, I'm just going to shade in um, in pink. So we've got outstanding banking there, 29th of April, Wendy's wardrobes. That's not yet appeared on the bank statement. The bank statement finishes on the 20th, sorry, 28th of April. Um, and we've also got an unpresented check here, Dacia's Dusters, 2105. And we're also going to need to include something about this 202 and £220. Pounds. Okay, so on to the bank reconciliation statement then. First thing we need to do in order to be able to do that is to balance off the um, cash book. So let's do the balance CD. Let's do that with a black pen. So about, oh, crumbs. Let's get the right pen. Give me some grey smudge on there. So balance carried down. So we've got 7060 on there. Minus Balance carried down four nine zero five. Just check that two nine two three, yeah, four nine zero five. So that's going to be the starting point for our bank reconciliation. So balance per the cash book, 4905. And then we need to add on to that any unpresented checks. Do you like copy this morning? Unpresented checks. And we're going to find those in our cash book. So if we have a look at our original cash book, we've got um, this Dacia's Duster, number 125. So a quick look. Um, so Dacia's Duster's 2105. to add that back on and then we need to take off any outstanding bankings and we've got two lots we've got that one from Wendy's wardrobes if you have a look on the cash book we've got Wendy's wardrobes there 5500 that needs to go on here So we've got the um, Douglas Limited one that hasn't yet cleared through the bank. Douglas Limited was 450. Okay. And then we've also got the bank error. And that was regarding check number, check number was it? Check number two, uh, sorry, check number one, two, three. They've actually charged us. 220 should be 202 so they've overcharged us by 18 pounds so we're going to need to deduct 18 pounds in our um, cash book and then hopefully 
question from this back to balance uh, the bank statement. Remember, it's really important that you label this question or label each of these lines up. So don't just write a series of numbers and hope for the best because then you'll be marks in the examiner's mark scheme or um, correct labeling. So I reckon we should have a positive balance on the bank statement of 1042. Let's just go back and check that. Keep our fingers crossed. Yep, there's a credit balance on our bank statement, which is the equivalent of a debit balance. So we can give ourselves the old smiley face there. Um, because that 1042 agrees with the, uh, the bank reconciliation statement. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.